Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, so you've seen him, me and Robert in other videos. He's coming in here now. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, man, so what we're going to do now is we're going to break up this motor part. So you've seen us change the seal out and take the pump apart. All right, so the first thing you always want to do is take a little center punch like this and a hammer, okay? And you want to knock your pump. Not, not, not knock your pump. You want to uh, tap a couple of markings in your pump to match it up. Okay, just like that. I always put like three in the front and two in the back. What this does, you put three marks on the end belt and you put three marks on the motor casing. So that way when you separate it, you're going to put it back together. You always know where everything aligns. So you can see how I made three marks on this side, three marks on this side. That way when I tap this apart, I can line it up later. All right. So moving right along, I'm going to put two markings in the back. This time I'll do it so you can see it a little better. There's one there on this side. There's two there. Okay, one here on this side, and then one here on this side. Okay, so now you know exactly when I go to put this back together, these two marks will line up with each other and the casing. Sometimes, if you don't put it exactly right, when you go to put the through bolts back in, it gives you a hard time. And we're going to show you right now that right now. Now, Robert did not bring me the right nut driver for the through bolts, so he's going to go get it quick in this video. Hurry up, Robert. And we are going to remove the through bolts. Okay, so that's not the through, that's not the nut driver, man. It's the yellow handle one. Okay, so I'm going to keep working these nut drivers out, and hopefully Robert will be fast enough. All right, so Robert has got the right tool now. Okay, so here's the yellow nut driver we need. You're going to loosen up these through bolts just like this. Okay. All right, so there's four of these through bolts. You, after you mark it, you want to remove each through bolt. There's one through bolt. Now you can see what I mean now before by the marks. You could probably imagine if you didn't mark that and you went to try to put it back together, you would never line it up, right? So you want to remove all four of these through bolts, just like so. Here's number three. Okay. And here's number four. Sometimes they're a little stiff, so you might have to put a little muscle into it. Now, once again, if you don't want to do this yourself, you can mail in your pump, and we will do it for you. Or you can go to the forums and ask us questions. Okay, so once you remove the four through bolts like that, you want to get the plug out of the way here. You want to take your hammer, just tap the motor casing a little. Okay, see that? And as I tape, you will see that my motor will start to separate. Okay, I'm going to pull this out here, and voila, look at that. There's the number one bearing in the back, and there's another bearing in the front. Now, I'm going to show you in the next video how to access this front bearing, but you can see that this motor is in good shape. There's a little bit of dirt in it. We'll pour it out. A little, a little bit of dirt in there. So we'll give that a good cleaning, and you can also see that uh, the customer had been complaining about noise. So you can see how this motor bearing is like kind of brown. It looks like it's been real hot. All the grease has come out of it. And it's starting to make noise now. And you can actually hear this one if you listen closely. Listen, check this out. You hear that? Listen. Yeah, so okay. So there you go. That's how you get the armature. It's nice clean in there too. That's how you get the motor armature out of the pump. Alright, so thanks for watching. Robert, thanks for coming. We'll see you in the next video. In the next video, we are going to show you how to remove the front end bell cover and how to change your bearings. Alright, thanks for watching. Joe Tomorrow, all the parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Peace.